All right, joining me now on Inside TBT from the Air Raiders, Tariq Owens. Welcome to the show. What's up, everybody? Thanks for having me. I appreciate, you know, taking the time to have me on here. Absolutely. You've probably seen his his dunks. You've probably seen his blocks. But this summer, you're going to get to see it in Lubbock once again. Tariq, how fired up are you that TBT's coming to Lubbock? Oh, yeah. I'm excited, you know. Try to get the gang back together, you know, be back down there in Lubbock. Uh, I spent time down there, but, you know, to really be down there in another hooping environment, um, I'm really excited for it, really excited to see, you know, how our fan base is going to respond and uh, what type of atmosphere they're going to bring. What type of environment and atmosphere can we expect? Um... And love it, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're going to do our best to get everybody to show up and show out, you know, how it is for our regular season games, which I mean, you know, we have a pretty loyal, fun fan base. So I think there's going to be a great turnout. And um, the fan base down there is just electric. It's a, it's a different type of feeling. So um, I'm also excited to see how it's going to be myself. I know they're going to show up and show out, but, uh, you know, it's a little bit different than like a Big 12 game. It's, uh, you know, you got some of your favorites, from over the years coming back to be on one team. So uh, I'm just excited to see what it's going to be like myself. So in your time playing in Lubbock and representing Texas Tech, you had your fair share of big dunks, big blocks, big moments. What do you think gets a crowd going more, a big dunk or a big block? Um, oh, that's, a, that's a good one. I, I, I want to say a block. Just because when I was there, I mean, I was tied for first in the, in the Big 12 with blocks. So, um, yeah, it was it was really electric in there when, when a block shot went down. But dunks went crazy, too. So, That's I don't know. Block, though. I'm going to give it to a block. You have, you know, maybe the most memorable block in Texas Tech history. So... <laughs> Let's let's think back to those years. What were some of your favorite moments when you were playing with Texas Tech? Um, definitely that block. Uh, you know, in the in the Elite Eight game coming down the wire. Um, that's definitely one. And another one was uh after the Big Twelve uh regular season when we clinched it in Iowa State and we came back home and you know we're all on the bus just the amount of fans that were outside of the, of the arena and how fun it was going back. It was just, it was so exciting going back. So uh, I think those two would probably be my most favorite moments. And then, but we had a lot of good times on our team. Absolutely. What, what about some, some road environments? Obviously you just mentioned Iowa state, but where, where did you get kind of the most nerves to play on the road? Um, of course, you know, uh, in Kansas, of course, going to the field house. Um, and for me, uh, one was West Virginia. You know, I had an older sister that went to West Virginia. So uh, when we played there, I don't know why I was I was kind of nervous in that game. And, you know, I didn't really have a, a good show in that game. So um, that would definitely be one that I was nervous for. A lot of family was able to come to that game because it's not too far from my hometown. So uh, definitely West Virginia. All right. If you, if you were still at Tech in the era – of NIL, what what are some of the Texas Tech stores, brands that you would have wanted to get an NIL deal with? Oh, so uh, we have a Reckham shop there, and uh, they always have so much. They always have so much gear. And there's this one company that I actually just found out about not too long ago. Um, try to remember their name. Ah, oh, man. This is not, but they make really, really like, they make really like exclusive like polos and jackets and stuff. And a lot of the town, a lot of the town wears their, their stuff. So, um, but I don't, honestly, I don't even know if they were around when I was there. So maybe not, but, uh, Chimmy's, of course, you know, I love Chimmy's. So that's another place as well. Is that a restaurant? Uh yeah, it's like a restaurant slash bar, but I like the tacos. So I'm unfamiliar with Lubbock. I will be a a Lubbock virgin if I come there for for TBT this summer. But so where are some of the places I gotta hit if I'm in town, food wise? 
Las Brisas, most definitely. It's a steakhouse or a table 82. Um, those places, those two places are a must. Uh, if you don't hit both one or the other, Las Brisas or table 82, 1000%. Um, Triple J's is another good place. Um, if you're looking for something quick, of course, Canes. I, you probably had Canes before, but I'm going to always suggest anybody go to Canes. I love Canes. So uh, that's for sure. And then, yeah, I think I said Triple J's. I think those are probably like some of my favorite places to go. All right. Last Texas Tech question. It's three o'clock in the morning. You know, Texas Tech just beat Texas at home. Everyone's fired up, out. Maybe they're drinking a little bit. It's college. It's 3 a.m. Yeah. What's the 3 a.m. Lubbock food spot? 1,000%. You can never go wrong. <laughs> you say what? Water- yeah, for sure. Honey butter biscuits. I, those are my, those are my steeds. Honey butter biscuits with a, uh, with a hash brown, and I'm good. All right. I love it. So we got the steakhouses if, you know, someone else is paying for it. And we got Whataburger and Canes if it's on your own dime. That's what I'm gathering is the move yeah. in Lubbock. No, I mean now that now that I'm out of college, you know, been a pro for a couple of years now, I think I I can go back and you know uh, cover my own tab, and maybe maybe cover a couple of people's tabs who who looked out for me when I was there. So you know, uh, but yeah, you know, Lubbock's a great town. Your first time being out there, you're gonna enjoy it. Well, I can't wait. Before before I get you out of here, where are you playing right now? How's your season going? Where are you in the season? Let's hear the the Tariq Owens update. Uh, so right now I'm currently playing in Serie A in uh in the Italian league. Uh, I play for uh, Pallacanestro Varese. Uh, nice small smaller town, but very nice. Uh, maybe like forty minutes north of Milan. So we're doing pretty well this season. Um. Right now we're in fifth in our division, so it's looking like we're headed towards the playoffs. But you know we got to finish out the season strong. We still got seven games left, and it's still a close race. So uh, you know, just taking it one day at a time and trying to grind it out. Season's coming to a conclusion soon, so we just want to make sure we're in the best spot possible to end a pro season. All right. Well, it sounds like this is going to be your schedule for the next few months. You know, win, win Syria, Syria, okay, and then ride that momentum into Lubbock for TBT. Take me to one of those steakhouses in Lubbock after you guys win the regional and then go and win the TBT championship. How does that sound? That sounds like a perfect plan. In all honesty, that's a uh, that sounds like a great summer to me. Well, there you go. Tariq Owens coming to win a bunch of championships this summer. Appreciate you coming on. Thanks for having me. Clocking out early, that's the dish I don't like. Been getting paid since I was riding on the Hit the pedal with the eighth, hopping on the ninth flight. I've been chilling out of sight. I'll be at the bar tonight. Told the bartender, go and take my car to swipe. You try the same thing, but your car get declined. White rappers nowadays, no, we're not too hard to find. I'm so dapper with my ways, I'm gonna linger in your mind. Always told me good things, look, I'm too dull to our patient. But I've been way too patient, riding bars in my basement. I'm anxious in the real world, it's time for me to say this. The basics, the talent in my mind, I can't wait. It's my time for it, it's taking. I'm baking my mind every day. It's the same ish. Lazy, my grind needs to get a new facelift. Coming from the underground and busting through the pavement. Rock with it and lean with it. My team win it. My team win it. Now rock with it and lean with it. My team turn up when I spit it. Now rock with it and lean with it. My team win it. My team win it. Cause oh yeah, that is so raving, racing and pacing around all these lames in my lane, out my way, unless you're trying to pay me. Not from the playpen, it's coming from the jungle. When you hear the bell, you better be ready to rumble. Because I'ma grab the gloves and I'm gonna flex my muscles. Go ahead and spit some bars, but you're probably just gonna mumble. A lot of rappers these days really need to get them humble. Cause they think they at the top, they better stop before they stumble. Cause I'm swiping all their biddies while they swiping right on bumble. And your girl, it calls me daddy, but she only you uncle but no we not related homie no we not some fam you never get in clubs you can't even get in sand you never get in dubs like
like the brand.